This is the daily video update for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm actually going to kick it over to a different video today. Um, one of the things that I'm, I'm doing as we move into the congregational year is launching a piece of research uh, for my doctoral work. Part of that research uh, is, is beyond the bounds of our congregational budget here at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. So this afternoon, uh, I'm putting together a, uh, a Faithify campaign through the UUA, uh, our, our crowdfunding platform. So I'm actually going to just play the introductory vi video for that campaign uh, rather than an original update. I hope that you'll consider um, donating uh, or, uh, or passing it on to uh, friends around the community. Thanks everybody, and I will see you on Friday. Hi, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Since 2017, I've served the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, Nebraska. And since March of 2020, much of that service has been from this home office here, as our congregation, like many others, has pivoted to respond to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. This office holds a lot of stories from staring at this orange wall in front of me to trying to figure out childcare for our four-year-old to learning how to do video and audio editing on the fly with the rest of the staff at UCL. Innovations out of necessity coming fast for three years. One of the other big pieces of this time for me has been participating in a doctor of ministry program in church leadership at my alma mater, Wesley Theological Seminary. Over the course of the program, for two and a half years now, we've been asked to think about how churches change, how they respond to challenging situations, how we as leaders in them work in institutions with long and proud histories, sometimes hundreds of years long, and yet still need to be flexible and creative in how we respond to the needs of the moment. You don't have to go very far to connect the lessons of that program and the things that we've been talking about to the needs of the last three years in a local church. I'm at the point now in the program when I am researching and writing a thesis. It's the final component of the doctoral program. The demon is a professional degree, so we're asked as part of it to work on a final project not of purely academic research, but one that serves the needs of the community we're a part of. So in 2020, we marked 150 years as a universalist congregation in Lincoln, Nebraska. We, over the last two years, explored the stories of this community and how they inform who we are today. Now, those anniversary celebrations, like many things over the last three years, were curtailed by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. So over the next few months, I'll be collecting and writing an oral history of the pandemic here in Lincoln, asking people to share what the last three years has been like, how it started, what we've learned, what role the church has played in all of it. By doing this in a project now, we're telling the story of this chapter in the church's history, so that when future generations ask at our 200th anniversary or our 250th anniversary, what was it like at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln during the pandemic. They will know our experience in our own words. Telling the story of what happened is also a big step towards moving forward. I don't know what this community will be like in five years. We've been changed in the time that we spent apart. The congregation that we're a part of now is not the congregation that existed in 2019. But I do know that telling our stories to each other, honestly and directly, is a necessary step towards whatever comes next. Much of this project is already funded or supported either through my professional development expenses and study leave at the church or my wife Stacy and my own support for team intuition uh, and lots of weekend hours in addition to my day job. This Faithify campaign though is asking you for support with two specific things. Um, first, buying two more voice recorders so that we can have multiple congregants participating at once. And second, paying for transcription of the interviews that we collect. 
I'm anticipating at least 20 hours of audio for this project and transcription is hard, time-consuming work. By helping to pay for a service to do quality automated transcription, you will be freeing up those hours for writing, reflecting, and editing all these individual stories into a history of our community. And I'm putting this request on Faithify because this work is outside the scope of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln's day-to-day -day work. It comes out of my own academic work and is on my own time, so it is not a part of the congregation's annual budget. I'm so proud to have been a part of this congregation since it called me in 2017. Over the last five years, I've come to know the Unitarian Church of Lincoln as a resilient, flexible, committed community who show up again and again, even in what it is cliched to say now, unprecedented times. So this project that I'm talking about now grew out of my own pandemic project, but it's work that I'm passionate about for its own sake telling the story of this community's response in extraordinary times. Thank you for your support.